In this short video, we would like to propose a user study comparing multi-touch interaction and spatial interaction for navigation and mobile displays. Mobile displays have become increasingly popular in recent years. In order to explore two-dimensional content like pictures or maps, users are often using multi-touch gestures. Even though these gestures are well established and widely used, they have their shortcomings. Everyday situations may arise where only one hand is available for interaction. In these cases, users may find it increasingly difficult to navigate the informational space. Navigating the informational space in this case can only be achieved using the thumb. However, for zooming in on content, two fingers are required. Two multi-touch interactions are most important for navigation. First, the flick gesture. Using the flick gesture, the user moves around the informational space. Secondly, the pinch gesture. Using the pinch gesture, the user resizes the informational space. As an alternative for multi-touch interaction, we would like to propose a spatial interaction technique. This interaction technique is utilizing the space around the device. The user can pan the informational space by moving the device left or right. Zooming is achieved by lifting or lowering the device. It was really important for us to implement a precise and stable prototype. That's why we used an unobtrusive motion capturing system called OptiTrack. This tracking system is using several cameras to determine the spatial position of the device. Of course, we also implemented a prototype for the iPad. A boundary is keeping the user from leaving the informational space and getting lost. In order to evaluate acceptance and performance of those two interaction techniques, we conducted a user study with 40 participants who were asked to complete a set of navigational tasks, like moving on-screen content, move and resize on-screen content, and find off-screen content. Once participants were completing all tasks using only one technique, and yet another time they completed all tasks using only the other technique. 20 participants were using the iPad, while 20 were using the iPhone. Even though all users were already familiar with multi-touch interaction, they were completing their task faster using spatial interaction. This was especially true for off-screen content.